What is going on everybody? Welcome to episode 4 of Rise of the Snake. We are on Plaza, I'm using the PDW, I've got the Semtex. In the pocket I have the Stealth Chopper, Warthog and Lodestar. You know, it's an average game, don't go huge, but today it's all about the commentary. I asked in my last two uh, videos if anybody had any topics that they wanted me to talk about. And um, a guy called Vane Headquarters, who is a friend of my buddy Acid Mez, was like, talk about your Call of Duty background. So, that's what I'm going to do. Again, shout out to my homie Arex for recording. Go check out his channel, you know, they're putting out a lot of great content. And soon enough his channel is going to be big, so get him now whilst he's, uh, you know, fresh. Um... Well, that, that sounded a bit creepy. You know what I mean. Anyway, let's talk about Plaza. No, let's not talk about Plaza. Let's talk about Call of Duty, my background. Because that's what we're talking about. Alright, so. Yeah. I started off with Call of Duty 1. Uh, not Call of Duty 4. Uh, Modern Warfare. Because some people get those confused. You know, I'm like, oh yeah, I started off on Call of Duty. And they're like, oh yeah, Call of Duty 4. No. Call of Duty. Number 1. 2003. World War 2 shit with the... Uh, single shot rifles and flipping MP40 and uh, flipping Thompson and shit and the BAR um, yeah I played that one more I was 12 13 depending on when it was released played that with my brother and our two real life friends great game my favorite Call of Duty by far you know it's a like I said kind of bare bones experience it requires a lot of skill it's about the the way you outmaneuver your opponent and who can outgun their opponent and yeah, I was playing that on PC, so yeah, the netcode and the pings and the connections are all good because you're picking the server that you want to play on and whatnot. So yeah, great experience. Um, was actually in a clan with my brother and our friends uh, that we joined called uh, 12SS, which is kind of weird because um, when you do some research, 12SS was actually a... Uh, Nazi Germany uh, armoured division that was tracked in from the Hitler Youth which is kind of weird because um, I mean I'm mixed race, so is my brother our other friend is Bengali and our other friend was from Iraq so yeah not sure that would have gone down too well with the Hitler Youth but anyway that clan was kind of weird um, lots of older men in it uh, probably Probably paedophiles, to be honest, but, you know, that's just a bit of a cliche, but they probably were. Um, yeah, and then one of the leaders was, like, stealing money from clan members or something. It was all fucked up, and, you know, uh, childhood flipping trauma, all that shit. Anyway, moving on, played a bit of Call of Duty 2. Again, that was kind of like an improved version, well, graphically and kind of... You know, just, it was a sequel, you know, it was an improved version of the first, but I would still say that the first is a better game. But Call of Duty 2 was a lot of fun, it was, it was, it was good, well made, uh, polished game. Um, after that, missed out the ones um, following, which I think was Call of Duty 3 Big Red 1. Uh, like I've said before, I don't think anyone actually played that game, that game sucked. Um, and then again, I missed out World at War and Call of Duty 4, not sure which order they came out in, but I just didn't play them for whatever reason. If it wasn't because I, uh, if it, um, it might have been because I didn't have an Xbox at the time, like an Xbox 360, or I just wasn't interested, I'm not sure. Because um, I wasn't big on FPS's on console until, uh, well until, as you'll see, when Modern Warfare 2 came out. That really brought me back into the kind of FPS community and um, I really, really enjoyed playing um, Modern Warfare 2 with my friends. We had such a laugh on that game. Uh, that uh, Modern Warfare 2, probably my second favourite Call of Duty behind Call of Duty 1, uh, at, least, um, at least the console version. I didn't play the PC version, but console version, well polished. Uh, the connections were great. For some reason, the connections in the game is following it. Haven't been as good, but you know, it was a brilliant game. It had good balance, the kill streaks were fun, uh, good maps, and um, an overall good experience, you know. Following that, there was Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops, I thought, was rushed. It just didn't feel like they put a lot of time into it. The guns didn't sound f like good, they, they didn't feel good to use. And in general, just wasn't enjoyable for me to play. Didn't spend too long on it. The maps were all the same colour and it was very boring as well. Modern Warfare 3, 
my my overall play time with it was like six hours or something. Like I really, really just didn't enjoy that game. It was just boring. Um, I don't know. It's the, the, the guns and the maps were just not, uh, as far as I felt, um, not very interesting. And it just didn't grab me at all. Didn't even play the campaign at all. And um, yeah, multiplayer-wise, it just wasn't for me. That brings us to the present day, which is Black Ops 2. You know, what can I say? I've been using it on my YouTube channel, which I think says a lot. I like it. Great game. I think it's very well balanced. I think, um, you know, it, it's, it's got good guns, good maps, good variation. In general, it's quite balanced. Um, of course, there are some issues, like some guns get buffed too much in patches or, or underpowered, and the same goes for kill streaks. But, um, no, sorry, not kill streaks for, um, for perks, like Flat Jacket, which gets nerfed really badly, and then other ones get buffed. But in general, it's a great game, and, you know, I really enjoy it. Having a lot of fun with it with my friends, and, yeah, kill streaks are good, and, like I said, the guns, and it all just kind of gels together. Um, and that's it. That's that's Call of Duty in a nutshell for me. Short little six minute video. Um, hopefully covers everything you lot need to know about what I like and dislike about them and my favourites and my background in them and getting uh, groomed by Call of Duty internet paedophiles back in 2003. Yeah. Anyway, we got some great gameplays to come. Hopefully some great commentaries. And yeah. Please like, comment and subscribe, it helps a lot. I will see you lot shortly. Peace.